This is my lolly drills for Balboa, ways to practice good technique solo. I'm Lainey and we're going to be using some resistance bands today. We're going to be using mini bands or a type of resistance band as a prop today. We can use the longer ones and tie a knot in them, but I think these are more comfortable for this specific exercise. I have a link in the description below. We can use the light resistance one if this is something that is, feels really weird and is brand new. I like to use something with a little more resistance for these exercises because it's a little more comfortable on my legs and it stays on a little better. Try the different weights of resistance and see which one you prefer. So we're going to be working on our lollies and my biggest goal in lollies is how do I keep my feet rotating with my hips versus stepping into my lolly. So often a common problem is that we end up taking our lollies and we end up taking this as a step and we add a step versus a rotational twist. So how do we have better lollies? We need to work on keeping our energy rotating from the foot on the ground. Tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, rotating from the ground. So tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, step. So let's first try it without the resistance bands. We're gonna work on the follower side footwork and then we'll switch and we'll do the leader side footwork. Good to practice both ways. We use the tapping and kicking versions are interchangeable. I like to use a little wall just to give myself a little resistance in my lollies. Uh, I want my hands to be in front of me so I'm not bending over. We're going to start with the followers footwork, which means we're going to have a kick with our left foot. So we'll start with the tap on count one, and then we'll kick on three. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. And I'm focusing on really rotating from my feet and keeping my knees parallel. We'll do that on the left for the leader side, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're going to add the resistance band. So I'm going to take the resistance band and I'm going to step into this carefully. And I'm going to put it around my legs a couple inches higher than my knees. This is going to help me feel if I've stepped because I'll have to work against the band. Instead, I want to work with the band and it stays in the same position on my leg as I'm practicing my lolly kicks. So I can do the same exercise against the wall, but this time with the band on, will hopefully give us a little more awareness of what we're doing. If you're practicing at home, I encourage you to do this in front of a mirror or you can video yourself and watch and see what you actually look like on camera. So we're going to do this with the leader side first. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Great. Let's switch to the follower side. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And hopefully that will help us feel that the energy from our lollies is coming from our hips and our torso powering all the way through the floor. It's like I'm trying to squish a bug or crunch a leaf under my foot every time I take a tap or a kick. And that will actually give me even more rotation than if I was just trying to rotate from my knee or my hip. So good alignment equals good dancing, which will also mean we can dance for longer. If you want more videos like this, subscribe below and you'll see all sorts of different dance bites in Lindy Hop and Balboa. Thank you very much.